Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the uh, muscle break of the tank. So we're looking right now at this M4A388 uh, Sherman tank. This is the AC8 uh, Sherman. The latest uh, Sherman variant that was produced during the war. And as you notice here, this tank is armed with this 76.0 millimeter gun. And you notice here also that the nozzle of this gun is uh, incorporates this uh, muscle brake and this muscle brake has uh, port holes on both the left and the right side now the question is uh, what is the purpose of the muscle brake all about so accordingly there are two main purpose of this uh, muscle brake the first one is uh, smoke management and the second one is uh, recoil reduction so the first, uh, so let's get into the first uh, reason that is uh, smoke uh, reduction or smoke management. What happens is when a, when, a, when a gun is fired, there's a corresponding smoke that is generated as the shell leaves the barrel of the gun. And uh, the smoke somewhat uh, is going to obscure the visibility in front of the tank. So the muscle brake's function is to divert the smoke on the left side and the right side of the barrel, leaving the top and bottom of the barrel free from uh, smoke. This prevents the visibility in front of the tank from being obscured every time the tank's gun is fired. By the way, the gun of this tank is actually uh, is actually a sliding cylinder in that it can uh, move freely backwards and forwards so during the recoil process a portion of this gun barrel is going to get inside the tank and after uh, which it uh, it's going to go back to its forward uh, default position so the second uh, purpose of the muscle brake is to reduce the recoil when the gun is fired so what happens is uh, when the sh when a shell leaves the muscle of the gun a corresponding uh, force in opposite direction is going to travel towards the tank so a portion of the barrel of the tank is going back inside the tank so depending on the space inside the tank if it's uh, cramped then the muscle brake is going to reduce the portion of the barrel that is going back inside the tank so muscle break uh, is not a new thing it's been around since the 19th century and there's a couple of uh, muscle uh, brick design over the years but uh, however this uh, type of uh, muscle break was actually borrowed from the germans so if you take a closer look this uh, muscle brake is identical to the muscle brake that is installed on some of the German tanks like the Panther tank as well as uh, latest uh, Panzer IV German tank. 